What's up everybody? Sorry, I'm gonna have to be a little more quiet than usual in this video. It's really late at night, everybody is upstairs, or my family is upstairs sleeping, so I have to stay quiet. But today I wanted to talk about two things. I wanted to touch on two topics. Topic one, is it necessary to count calories? Topic two, um, are supplements necessary? Are you using supplements in the right way? And yeah, those are the two topics that I wanna talk about today. Let's start with the first one. So. Should you or is it necessary to count calories? My answer is it depends. <laughs> so here we go. If you guys are competing in a physique show, bodybuilding show, or anything that requires you to uh, cut weight drastically, so it doesn't even have to be physique. It could be if you're uh, cutting weight for wrestling, if you're cutting weight for boxing, if you're cutting weight for athletic performance or a sport. For sports specific stuff, then yes, you should count your calories. You should be very strict. You should count every single macro, every single calorie, have it down to a T because then you can base your results and you can see what works for you, what doesn't work for you. If your weight is actually decreasing, if it's not, then you know that you have to drop down your calories and you have pretty much data saved into your whatever you use your app or your uh, if you're writing down a piece of paper you'll have data to track your progress but for the normal person guys for the normal person that's trying to lose weight or be fit or be healthy it is not not necessary it is just added stress and added stress leads to actually creating more fat cells in the body but that let's not even touch on that it just it adds ton of stress. Imagine guys, you, you don't even enjoy the food anymore because you're constantly worried about how much macros you're having, how many calories you're having. You can't even just sit down and enjoy the meal. So for people that are just trying to lose weight, that are just trying to uh, be fit and healthy, just think, think about this. Every meal should have a healthy fat source, a healthy carb source, and a healthy protein source. If you guys have three meals with a healthy fat, a healthy carb, and a healthy protein, and then two snacks in between the, the breakfast and the lunch, and a snack in between the lunch and the dinner, then you shouldn't be worried at all. If you're exercising, eating clean, so having the healthy carb, healthy fat, healthy protein, three times, three meals a day, and then a, a healthy snack in between each meal, then there really should be no reason to count calories because you're already eating clean enough to sustain a healthy lifestyle. Plus, if you're exercising, that's just the added bonus. So my take on should you count calories is it depends. Yes, for people that are having a sport specific, it could be either a fur physique show or just any sort of sport that requires you to cut weight and you need to have some sort of data to track your progress. For the healthy and normal individual that is just trying to lose weight, get healthier, drop down a couple sizes in their jeans, no, it's not necessary. Just clean up your diet, cut out all soda or all drinks that aren't water, and then have three meals a day that consist of a healthy fat, a healthy carb, and a healthy protein with two snacks in between. So, next topic that I want to touch on are, are supplements necessary? Okay, so many people are using supplements and they don't even have a good base in nutrition. So let's put this in perspective, guys. Let's say you're going, for, for, for men, let's say you're going out uh, to eat and you have a really nice watch, really nice sunglasses, really nice pair of shoes, um, but you have a really fucking shitty suit. Your, your suit looks like pretty much a sweatsuit, but you have all these nice accessories. So that's pretty much what supplements are. Supplements are the accessories. So if you have nice accessories, but you don't have a nice suit on, then people are gonna be like, wow, what the fuck, like, look at that guy. But if you have a nice suit, the suit being nutrition, then those accessories add on and it make that suit look even better. So let's put that in perspective of your body. Uh, the suit represents your nutrition. If you have a good base for the outfit or for your nutrition, then you can start adding the accessories in to help the nutrition even more. But if you don't have a nice suit or a nice base of nutrition, then it is not necessary to add in the accessories because it just, it doesn't work, it doesn't fit. 
just like the outfit for for females the same concept applies so it would be like going out with a, a nice tiara nice makeup on nice shoes nice jewelry but you don't have a nice dress on the dress is your base in nutrition but you're trying to cover it up with all these fucking accessories no same shit applies for supplements do su supplements are an accessory if you don't have a good base in nutrition then it is not necessary to take supplements so that is going to wrap up this video guys it's been really short i'm really sorry i've been really busy <laughs> lately i've been getting a lot more hours at the gym as a trainer and i've been getting a lot more uh just just busy but i'm i'm staying consistent i'm posting every monday wednesday friday i'm trying to give you guys value um, I believe that the videos don't have to be these 20-30 minute long videos if it's just me talking about the random stuff and just trying to fill in the gaps in the time. I would rather give you guys a 5-6 minute video that is really beneficial and that you'll actually take something away from it than give you a 30 minute video of a bunch of bullshit. So that's my stance guys. Those are my stances on should you count calories and um, are supplements necessary. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button for more quick tips like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.